Hello. So today we're looking at Faber-Castell metallic markers. I love metallics. I am so happy with them. And these work well not only on paper, but on a variety of other um, surfaces. So it says it'll work on bright paper, dark colored papers, and smooth surfaces, plastic, transparencies, porcelain, glass, and metal. Smudge and smash proof. Um, it will be fixed in the oven at 160 degrees centigrade. It'll become waterproof. And it's a water-based ink. So this could be good for all sorts of different purposes. For me, I use things like this for doing uh, greeting cards a lot of the times and other kinds of artwork uh, for hanging on the walls. All right, so it comes in cardboard with a piece of plastic on it. This is a bit of a pain. Many of the other marker sets I get come in something that you can actually use again. This, I mean, once you open this up, you just have to recycle the plastic, recycle the cardboard, and then find something else to store your markers in. So that part is a little bit of a pain. So we've got red, uh, sort of a coppery, blue, green, gold, and silver. So the three primary colors and then three of the main um, metal colors. So we got, this is called Berry Nice. So unlike some ones that you have to shake up a lot to get it to work, this works right out. And you can see it's a nice, dark, rich color. Blue is called Ice Ice Blue. Again, a nice rich color and it's got a bit of a shimmer to it, which hopefully you can see in the video. I'll see if I can get that to show up once I get all the colors on the paper. This is Wanderlust. Certainly having fun with their color naming. I would actually appreciate it if they went for more reasonable names like green and such because if I'm having to rebuy one of these and trying to buy it on its own, trying to remember what Wanderlust did for would be a little tricky. Nothing else metals. <laughs> I will reiterate, cute names are cute, but um, I have so many art supplies up in my art room that I would appreciate it if it just said silver. Very nice bright colors though. All right, now I'm waiting to see Copper Cabana. wonder if a lot of people even know what <laughs> Copper Cabana refers to. There's a song called Coco Cabana. Now it's going to be stuck in my head. And then the last one is called Heart of Gold. All right, so all of these come out nice and bright. They are clearly visible on white paper, even with the silver ones. Let me just quickly see if I have a flashlight around here. Here we go. Alright, so hopefully you can see as it goes from different angles the shimmer on that, which is very nice. I love metallics and pens that cause shimmering because it's just uh, so nice when you've got lights on it. It adds a texture to it that you'll get from regular markers. All right, and now I've also got black paper under here because people always ask how these things work on a much darker paper. So this is the red. You can see that shows up very nicely. Blue. Very clear and bright, even against the very dark background. Green. Copper. Well, now let's do silver first. Keep them in the same order. Silver. That is just so pretty. <laughs> There's a lot of markers out there that can't do this, that just really fade when you put them against the black background, so it's quite impressive when they finally get one that actually holds up to it. Copper, again another one that can often fade into a background but it's holding up very nicely. And silver. 
Oh wait, we did silver. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I know. Gold. <laughs> oh, gold goes over the top of silver. Alright. So I'm very pleased with these markers. They do quite well on both light and dark backgrounds. Again, these are. Let's see if I push that up a little. Faber Castell. They are metallics. I wish they said markers or something on here because um, it would be good to just let people know what they are. But they're markers. You can see the colors show up nice, white and dark. Uh, if you're looking for something metallic that will hold up on a number of different surfaces, I would recommend these. <laughs>